Well, it was a good run. In September of 2021, I sold or got rid of most of my belongings and left my New York City apartment, driving away in my car with not much of a plan other than to live life as one big adventure. I lived out of my car for one year and three months, waking up almost every day to catch the sunrise and exploring as much of the country as I possibly could. But as they say, all good things come to an end. And I eventually got to the stage where I knew I had to move on to the next chapter of my life. After much deliberation, I decided on a city to base in and after viewing what seemed like an endless amount of apartments, found one that fit my needs and moved my few belongings in to start this next chapter. Okay, so in full transparency, it is now a couple months later because I seriously underestimated the amount of time it would take to furnish an entire apartment from scratch, from living in a vehicle with no furniture to moving into an apartment and having to buy everything. I thought I could do it in a few weeks, but it's taken me two months so far and I'm still working on it. But for today, I wanted to talk about why I quit living on the road and decided to get an apartment once again. Dear Van Life, I quit. First things first, which city did I move to? I'm currently in Los Angeles, California. And initially I did not expect to move here, but a few things happened over the past year that made it the clear choice to me as the next place that I should get an apartment in. First of all, I am still trying to grow my video business. And after doing that for the last four years in New York, previously to living on the road, I think LA is sort of the next logical step in terms of another place that has ample opportunity for video work. Secondly, I happen to have a lot of friends that live here in LA already, which I was thinking about how much I should factor that into where I'm moving, but especially after the last year on the road, I think it's going to be really, really good for my mental well-being to be close to friends here. And it's not just casual friends, like some of my absolute best friends live here in LA and already I'm feeling a positive impact from being around them. I think sometimes we can get caught up in our goals and ambitions and forget that we need to feel really good about ourselves and our daily lives in order to keep pushing for that and not have burnout. And having really close friends around you to help with that is something that shouldn't be underestimated. Lastly, California is just an undeniably beautiful state to live in. So it just made sense for me to be here because of the outdoor and landscape photography work that I also do. And it was a big reason why I left New York, Ashley, was because I felt very isolated from nature. If I wanted to go on a trip or get out and go hiking there, I had to either rent a car and drive pretty far to get somewhere that I thought was truly out in nature, or I would have to buy a plane ticket and go on a full trip. So obviously it's possible, but I found myself getting trapped in the city for long periods of time because it wasn't really convenient. Whereas living here, I can go hop in my car and in a couple hours be in the mountains somewhere or in 15 minutes just be on the beach. So both for work and for my personal well-being, having access to nature that close by will be really good for me. So here's the thing, quitting isn't exactly the right word because when I decided to leave my apartment in New York City to live on the road full time, it was never my intention to do that forever. I sort of saw it more as 
a short-term experiment or challenge to myself to see how long I could do it for. And I set myself a challenge of, can I do it for at least one year? I made a whole video about this, actually, so I'll link it on screen in one of the corners. Uh, I always forget which side it goes on, but if you wanna watch that video, I go into more depth as to why I decided to move onto the road and more of the thought process behind that decision. The short version is I knew I wanted to move to the West Coast and I thought what an amazing opportunity to travel around the country in my car without having to pay rents. And it just felt like something that I needed to try while I'm young. And I'm really glad that I did it. I have no regrets over that decision. It was both the best and the toughest year of my life, I'd say. I had moments where I felt on top of the world, everything was amazing. I was waking up in beautiful places every day. There were moments where I felt really, really low, where I felt lonely and very isolated from the rest of the world and felt like I didn't have that support system around me because I was moving around so much. And then all the moments in between that high and that low as well. But I wouldn't trade any of it for the experiences that I had. And I think it's something that it's worth trying it because really at any time you can just decide that it's not for you anymore and move somewhere, which is essentially what I did. At the end of it all, I see it as this crazy adventure over the last year where I grew a lot as a person and got to see so many amazing parts of this country. And also it was an experience that not a lot of people can say that they have had. So I'm very grateful for all the memories and the, the lessons that I learned over the past year of doing this. But at the same time, I knew it was time for this chapter of my life to end, partly because I was getting tired of living on the road but also because I have other projects and ambitions that I'm really, really excited to be working on this year that I felt I needed a space like this to accomplish those goals. The last part of this video is what's next. And I can tell you that I'm really excited about some of the projects that I have coming up that I'm gonna be working on this year, which I'm really thankful for because at the end of my time living on the road, I got pretty burnt out from almost everything creatively. So I have some new things that I want to work on this year that I have been more excited about recently than I have been about almost anything else creative in a long while. The first thing I'm really excited about is this YouTube channel. I think I've had this channel since 2014, which is kind of crazy when I think about it. That's what, nine years that I've had this channel? And I have uploaded videos, but it's been only maybe a few videos a year. I've been really bad about consistently uploading because I've put a lot of effort into the videos, but also because I just treated it as this passion project on the side that, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get around to uploading that video if I finish it in a couple months. But this year I really want to try to take it more seriously. So I've been writing down scripts for months on different topics and different things that I want to share with you guys, whether it's stories or photography related things or trips or tutorials. As far as social media platforms go, I still feel like YouTube is the biggest opportunity to create meaningful long form content that has a story behind it and make a living off of doing that, of making meaningful content. Secondly, I really want to start a podcast. And I feel like this is funny to say because it seems like everyone is starting a podcast these days, but I have an idea that I think could be a really cool concept. And I'm just excited to start planning for that. So I think this one might be a little bit further down the line in terms of when I actually make it happen because I still have to come up with a good name uh, and get the equipment and, and the setup for that and also YouTube is gonna take up a lot of my time, so I wanna focus on sort of one thing at a time, but in the back of my mind, I have a cool idea for a podcast that I think uh, could be really good. So I'm, that's the second thing that I am excited about 
I also have plans to keep scaling my video business, which I talked a little bit about earlier in the video, but completely separate to all of this social media stuff that I do and the, the brand deals on Instagram and, and all that. I have a video business that I run creating content for clients, whether it's video editing or video production. So I'm excited to move that business here to LA and try to scale that further and just continue the progress that I made building that business in New York. So if you're in LA and you're watching this, or actually if you're anywhere and you're watching this and you need video production services, whether it's uh, on-site shoots or video editing, then I guess send me an email. The last thing I'm excited to get back into is training freestyle soccer, which some of you might be watching this and thinking, what is that? But if you've been following me for a little bit of time, you might have seen me post a few clips on my story here and there of me juggling a soccer ball and doing tricks with it and stuff like that. And that is actually a, its own sport called freestyle soccer that I've been training since 2015. So almost eight years now. And it's something that I sort of let go. I let it fade into the background a bit while I was on the road because I found it hard to <laughs> juggle training and being on the road. Wow, that was a, that was a terrible pun. Uh, but yeah, I found, it, I found it really hard to balance training and being on the road at the same time. So I really let it go. But now that I have a base again, I'm excited to get back out there and start training that again. And LA is a really great place for that because normally the weather is quite nice so I can be outside most of the year training that. So that's it. As you can probably tell, there is a lot that I am excited about. When I look at it all together, it's a little overwhelming, but I'm trying to just take it one step at a time. And it's been a while since I've been this excited about some of the projects I have coming up and then also settling down here into a new apartment and a new life in LA, in California. So with that being said, feel free to drop a comment below if you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see on my channel. I have a lot of ideas already in motion and, and scripts being written, but I'm always open to suggestions of what you want to see on this channel as well, especially now that I'm going to try to be uploading more videos and more consistently. I think there will be chances for me to branch out and make more types of videos depending on what you want to see. If you enjoyed the video today, please leave a like to encourage me to keep making these. And other than that, hit the subscribe button and I will see you for the next one.